Hi everyone, it's Tandro Kamado and Nezuko. I spend most of my days fighting demons, but when I'm not, it's good to have food on the road. So we're gonna show you how to make bento boxes today. We already have it all planned out and we're gonna make some cute stuff. I think you're gonna make some bunny apples okay. and I was planning on making little octo dogs. So when doing a bento box, it's all about balance. You need a good color, you need lots of veggies, and you need lots of fruits and things that are generally healthy. Knowing Nesco, she's probably gonna mostly put sweets in it, but I don't know if demons apply to the same rules anyways. So we're gonna go ahead and start by cutting up our fruits and veggies. Are you gonna be okay handling a knife? Okay. I will give you the smaller one. That's a clean onion. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Cauliflower. Where's the broccoli? Strawberries. Let's put a good round carrot. This is like a cartoon rabbit carrot. <laughs> I taste dirt. Well, the rice I started is already done. That's a good sign. You got it? <laughs> you good? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's like a perfect slice. That was clean. <laughs> if you need any help, let me know, okay? Are you getting mad at me for eating the daikon? Mm -hmm. The hardest part of making a bento is waiting for it to be done. Mm. You know I what that means? Just thing. Wait. This video is sponsored by Tokyo Tree and Sakura Co. These are both monthly Japanese snack subscription boxes. Right. Um. Tokyo Treat is different from Sakura Co because it offers up to 20 of the latest, most exclusive Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time, such as Sakura Pepsi, Japanese Sake Kit Kats, and many more. The Sakura Co box has 20 traditional and authentic artisan Japanese snack items, including Japanese teas and one special Japanese kitchenware every month. Sakura Co partners with local Japanese snack makers to continue to share Japanese culture and traditions that have been passed down for over 100 years. These are the April boxes. They're Sakura themed. They're both jam packed full of Sakura flavored snacks and I'm excited to dig in. Let's go ahead and open our boxes. Mine says supremely Sakura. Oh, yours is so traditional and pretty. Look at that. Oh, I can already see so many good treats right at the top. Mm. It's peach Kit Kats. Ah, oh, they look so good. Sakura Carito, Yogurt Peach Fanta, Cherry Pocky. They're even shaped like little hearts. Sakura Donuts, and a whole ramen bowl. I can't wait to have this later. Wow, it looks so pretty. Wow, so many Sakura flowers. Mm, they're so pretty and delicate. They're so ornate. Mm. Oh, they're mm. bread. I love bread. A sakura mochi jelly with a real sakura flower. These mochis are gonna be good. One for each of us. Mm -hmm. This sakura jelly is beautifully wrapped. The sakura filling looks enticing. A cracker boat. I wonder how it will taste. Wow. 
Mm -hmm. The actual boat is also a cracker. Now I'm going to unbox the kitchenware. I can't wait to see what it is. Me too. <gasps> wow! So cute! Oh, it's perfect for you. I love it. The sakura flowers are so unique. Here, we can share it. Wow, I can't wait to see what we get next month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't wait. And now let's look at the booklets. Each box comes with a 24-page booklet that tells you all about each snack in the box. Not only does it talk about everything that is in the snack box, it also talks about April and why Sakura season is so important. Here's Sakura Ko's booklet. This has so much information about Japanese culture. You can learn a lot reading this. Learning really works up my appetite. That's enough reading. How about we go ahead and try some of these snacks? I have both the Cherry Pocky and the Peach Kit Kats, which are limited edition. I'm super excited to try both of them, but I think I want to try the Kit Kat today. Mm. I'm going to try these Sakura Mochis. Look how cute the packaging is. Mmm, it's really good. It's like super peachy. Look! Nothing beats mochi straight from Japan. Wow, so soft. Mm. The sakura flavor is so light and sweet. Yeah, is it good? I guess it's pretty good then. <laughs> that was really good. I'm so glad I got to try it since it was for a limited time in Japan. Mm -hmm. Use the code COSPLAY for $5 off your first Sakura Co. or Tokyo Treat Box by using the links below. Using the links below directly supports our channel. Thank you for your interest in Tokyo Treat. And Sakura Co. Now let's get back to making bentos. Thank you, you're cheering me on. Mm. I got this. Mm -hmm. I already have this scored, so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking the end of the knife and you're gonna try to get it under the skin and kind of just saw it off where you can. What kind of shapes do you think you're gonna make? Mm. Gonna make sakura and another flower? Mm. That's gonna be really cute. Mm. I think I want fish. Mm. Yeah, it's so cute. So for the apples, we went ahead and soaked these in uh, lemon juice, and that prevents them from browning. Mm. Yeah, you use that to take the shape out. That's really smart. I still have a goldfish, it's an orange fish. <laughs> They look so good. They're so cute. Wow. Well, while my sword skills are definitely better than my knife skills, I match my kimono pretty well. <laughs> so while you finish that up, why don't I go ahead and make some octo dogs for mine? <laughs> He's cute. He stands. <laughs> I like them to stand. Okay. You knocked them <laughs> over. <laughs> That's so rude. We're putting the octodogs in the pan so their legs can hold up. Look at them sizzle. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take the rice and I'm going to make little spam misubis. And I'm gonna use this to help me. And then Nezuko is going to make pink onigiri. We even made special pink rice for this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take some onigiri. Yeah, uh, Nezuko has a sandwich that she's going to cut out into cute shapes for her bento box. Got it? Need some help? Here. Push 
pushed it through to the other Ooh. side. <laughs> it's like that cat bread. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. It's a little flower sandwich. You put like cheese and mayo in it, right? I'm so excited. QB mayo is so good. I'm gonna put nori in this. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna put some rice in there and my meat and make my little masubi. Got him in there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab some rice. It kind of worked. Tastes good. So that's gonna be filling for our little rice balls. What kind of filling do you have? Taro? You love taro. It's gonna be so good. You want, you want me to help you? Okay. Wow. It is thicker than I thought it would be. You can just pick it up and mold it. Okay. The pink rice is so cute. That was such a good idea. Oh, of course. Good job, Nezuko. I think he said, are you gonna be making like a little caterpillar with them? That's gonna be so cute. I'm filling in there. Oh, you made it a little hard! <laughs> That's so cute! There you go. Okay, we wanna make little faces for them? Mm. You're gonna do more circles. Okay. Mm. Put it right here for you. Can you blow on it? Oh. oh, they fell right on it. And your old one. The one you got stuck in there before. Look at this cool dude. Sorry, little dude. These belong to the big boy. You look so far away. So we have these. They're uh, little plastic leaves that you can use to decorate your bento box. I think I want to put mine in the top of my hot dogs. Got it? Your nails are little hole, hole punchers. Oh, he's cute. You all done? <laughs> I'm going to move this to the side and let's go ahead and start assembling our bentos. <laughs> okay, and we're ready to start assembling. <sighs> I'm so excited. These are both so different, but gonna be so tasty mm. either way. Let's see, I'm gonna take some little broccolis and cauliflowers, and I think I'm gonna make a little pattern with them. Looks really tasty. What? What's wrong? It's not sweet enough? Okay. Yeah, you're getting something from the soccer co box? Oh, yeah, the mochis! Oh, that's gonna look so good in your box. So cute. There we go! Okay, well then I guess they're all done. I think they look pretty impressive. Well, I think that we should do this together more often. Don't you? Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Remember, be there and be square. Finish it with me. Bye!